And I've always kind of taken being a woman as an advantage in the market because it's different. One of the things that I think is so uh, kind of funny, I should say, is that uh, that we have a women's equality because in my opinion, every day is women's equality day, right? Exactly. And I, I'm, and I'm when you work with fine gentlemen like yeah, us. That's, yeah. that's what yeah. makes it all happen. So <laughs> the thing that I think um, is, is, is unusual is I've never felt um, through my whole career, I've never felt as if I was being pushed down or dragged down or held down because I was a female. And I think it's because of maybe the type business I've been in, you know, when you're in sales, you eat what you kill. So, mm -hmm. you know, you've got that going for you, but I never felt held down or held back. Did either of you um, go through anything like that? Never. <laughs> well, I, I think it's interesting because, you know, this is a conversation that we have at our office and it is kind of a man's world, but I it, I don't even recognize or acknowledge that until someone Your attitude to me. And mm -hmm. I have to tell you, I was raised by a Marine Corps pilot. He had three girls and he raised us like a drill sergeant. And <laughs> you know, he was just really, hey, you want something, you need to work for it. No one's going to give you anything. So I, it doesn't, I don't even acknowledge that. It, but when you look around, there's very few women in the industry, especially mm -hmm. as a fund manager, you know, in the private money space. And, you know, you go to Collective Genius, go to Freedom Founders, most trust advisors are men, you know. Mm -hmm. And so I, it doesn't seem to affect me and I don't feel like I've ever been held back for it. Um, I, I do think there's a lot of opportunity for women. I, I get a lot of our clients that really like actually speaking to a woman opposed to no offense, Bill and Jonathan, um, but females, you know, and so sure. it's, it's interesting. That is. How about so you, Christy? I will say I, um, so I worked for a very large mortgage company, um, which shall remain nameless since they're still in the business and they're giant. Um, and while it didn't affect my income because I was in sales and I was one of the top producers in the company, it definitely affected my, my ability to get promoted. Um, all the team leaders were male. It was very male dominated. There were no female team leaders at the time. Um, and that's actually kind of what drove me to go out on my own because mm -hmm. I just realized, you know, if I wanted to do what I wanted to do, I had to make my own path. And I grew up with 11 uncles, two older brothers. I was raised like a boy kind of. So, um, you know, I never felt internally like I was at a disadvantage, but I definitely saw it out there. Mm -hmm. And I had only experienced, you know, that world for a few years. Um, and I've always kind of taken being a woman as an advantage in the market because it's different. And, um, and I've always, you know, used it to my advantage. So I think that I, I definitely see it and um, I've experienced it and I've definitely experienced it from buying properties in commercial real estate, um, like my first office complex that I bought. Um, the owner wouldn't even address me. He would only address my male uh, <laughs> business banker. He wouldn't even look at me in the eye the whole time. I'm asking him questions and he's answering <laughs> the guy who's sitting next to me. Um, but again, I use that to my advantage. I mean, I knew that that was going to help me kind of negotiate a better deal. And, um, I brought a gentleman with me when I was touring the property. Cause I, I just had this feeling he was a, he was an old white guy, no offense to all of y'all, but, um, and an attorney and he just called his like wife. An old white guy, yeah. Um, <laughs> you know, I, uh, I've, I've definitely experienced. And then I, I also had, when I was going to buy my first, um, my first commercial property when i told the male broker what i wanted he actually said well honey you know this is when you would tell your clients they're being unrealistic and I had contractors treat me differently where they tell me they don't want me to break a nail i mean it's you know it's like ridiculous but um again i've just kind of never let it bother me i just you know just keep moving forward it's it's it is what it is so. I think that's what makes the difference is it's all in the attitude.